Could I now request Dr. Sagnik Chaudhary, Regional Director, East India Tourism, Eastern Regional Office, Kolkata, to address the gathering. His Excellency, Honorable Governor of Odisha, Professor Ganeshi Lal, dignitaries on the dais, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Ministry of Tourism, I congratulate Argus for organizing this extremely important event. I sincerely thank hoteliers, travel agents, tour operators, my colleagues from the ministry, distinguished members of travel and hospitality industry, and friends from the media for making this event a very meaningful step towards the inclusive growth and development of tourism. At the outset, I convey my immense pleasure for being here in the beautiful state of Odisha. It is also a great privilege for me to be interacting with all of you, and I thank you for joining us this evening for the valedictory session of the Tourism Conclave, Chalo Dekhe Apna Desh. Friends, as you know, we are coming out of an unprecedented time. The COVID-19 pandemic had brought the entire world to a standstill. The pandemic had resulted in a drastic reduction in human mobility and tourism, both international and domestic, to an all-time low. The suspension of international flights, the closing of airports and borders, adoption of strict restrictions on travel, including domestic travel, caused an unprecedented crisis in, in ways more than one in sectors that are related to the tourism industry. Our sector is among the hardest hit with millions of jobs at risk. But together, we are rising from the ashes. All sorts of travel restrictions in domestic travel have already been lifted. And now inbound tourism is all set to start in India. Already, the major destinations are reflecting sold-out dates. Just imagine the potential of growth of lesser-known destinations and experiential tourism with the rebound of inbound tourism. The Ministry of Tourism, under the leadership of Honorable Minister for Tourism, along with stakeholders, is working tirelessly to reboot the tourism sector at the earliest. The Ministry has continuously engaged with representatives of tourism and hospitality industry and stakeholders to discuss solutions and the way forward to revive the economy by reviving demand, especially through promotion of domestic tourism to start with. We have curated unique itineraries infrastructures through Swadesh Darshan and Prashad schemes and prepared ourselves with the Incredible India 2.0 campaign to delight travelers like never before. With the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav campaign, India for the first time in 75 years has come up with experiential products of Azadi trails. Our lesser known heroes and their legacy can now be shown to the entire world. This has only strengthened the already rich, diverse tourism offerings of incredible India. Odisha tourism has been an integral part of this effort to revive the brand Incredible India. Odisha has developed the eco-retreats, developed the coastal circuit, Gopalpur, Barkul, Satpada and Tampada under Swadesh Darshan scheme, and Puri, Sri Jagannath Dham, Ramachandi, Prachi River front at Deoli under the mega circuit project of Prashad scheme. Odisha tourism has wonderfully showcased the lesser known destinations through extensive outdoor and media campaigns in the last few years. We have complemented their efforts in all parts of India in showcasing Odisha, India's best kept secret. We have also realized the potential of Odisha as a tourist source market and campaigned for Dekho Apna Desh and Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav in Odia, Hindi, Bengali and English languages in all our social media outreach to generate domestic tourism movement from Odisha to the rest of India. We have started events like Purvaya to promote Odisha in collaboration with Odisha tourism and tourism stakeholders way back in 2019. And we plan to organize similar events in the near future to boost the tourism potential of Odisha in the next fiscal. I would like to mention to the stakeholders and participants that as we join forces to restart tourism, we must live up to our responsibility to ensure that tourism's benefits are shared by all. 
This rebound of domestic and inbound tourism is an opportunity to rethink the tourism sector and its contribution to the people and the planet. An opportunity to build better towards a more sustainable, inclusive and resilient future by placing rural development at the heart of tourism policies through education, investment, innovation and technology as it can transform the livelihoods of millions, preserve our environment and our culture. Once again, I congratulate Argus and all of you for this stellar event which has come at the most opportune time on the face of reopening of tourism in India. Thank you.